Hi everyone, uh, I am recording this video Why India's engineering graduates uh, should worry Engineering graduates should worry is the topic uh, That's what an article I read and I am sharing my experiences and the Okay, the points are like, I mean, um, lacks of engineering uh, graduates are uh, passing every year uh, will be recruited by IT companies in India um, but that is going to end because um, of automation uh, automation is one is going to take away most of the IT jobs and I'm also um, uh, I read an article written by someone in India but yeah, that also you can go through it uh, I'm sharing on par with the uh, what's going on in US also and uh, that's what uh, it's affecting uh, engineering students um, before that I uh, example like I mean there is a VLSA paper in the third year so if you focus on it then uh, you will get a VLSA jobs that's one and uh, of, take out the 50% of your uh, practical marks out of 50% of your theory you have to get the good marks right um, at least 45% of it you should get out of 50% of this uh, theory marks that's one and uh, second point uh, CCIE also is what one example I gave okay uh, that is what engineering colleges uh, the graduates needs to focus on automation and uh, cyber security and all and also I talked to various uh, friends working in the top management of Indian companies I mean uh, some of them uh, so off record um, I discuss and then what I'm saying is uh, what they replied it is very true automation is uh, disrupting the IT industry now and uh, but we have to take it as a blessing in disguise like I mean for example um, there is a new technology that is taking away some jobs but new jobs will be created so guys have to reskill and then uh, focus on those areas and uh, job losses will be there but opportunities in new age technologies will be plenty so those things uh, needs to be focused and uh, uh, that's what uh, and uh, those who are sitting in the first branch nobody needs to give an advice because they always focus on uh, uh, IITs, IIMs, whatever and uh, of course uh, those who study in IITs also fleeing India to US or various nations because of lack of opportunities one not all majority and uh, I also receive emails from uh, students studying in IITs, Assam, Chennai, various locations, Bits Pilani. So um, that's what. And because the opportunities are plenty, uh, one of my subscribers studied BCom in uh, Karnataka state. And then uh, he did networking CCNA. He followed my videos a couple of years. And then working as a network engineer in small form and then contracting and then moved to Vipro as a consultant or contractor. And then MHS. This is what happened last five years in India. Then he opted for Canada because of um, given uncertainties for H one B year. Uh, America advantage is OPT and CPT is there, but uh, like I said, ninety percent of the resumes are fake. So you have to apply. Uh, according to me, uh, almost all uh, some friends also told uh, most of the educational consultancies in India are uh, looting the money from the students and their parents. So what I'm saying is you have to apply online directly for uh, MS or MBA or whatever uh, top five, top 100 or top 500 uh, universities without approaching the middleman. Example is uh, if you are approaching someone, a broker to fill your BTEC application form before going to BTEC, uh, what the heck you study, right? The same thing here also. Uh, you have to do by yourself. That's one and... Uh, a bit always a bit what's going on in the market have a development skills for non-development skills uh, like I mean testing or uh, system administration these things uh, will not last long the jobs so development programming will uh, face you a lot that's what and then automation cyber security these the aspects and also focus on uh, uh, non-US other uh, nations also for higher studies in the top universities without middlemen and then job opportunities also the, that is what uh, uh, want to communicate in this and VLSA like I said uh, many people they neglect that paper in the third year 
uh, but do not approach the brokers and middlemen either there or here uh, approach your seniors um, sorry studying the masters here locals i mean to say americans not uh, uh, our folks because mostly our guys they um, misguide or track trap them to indian names uh, for easy money for referral money so you got to hit the uh, client full time jobs rather than indian names or indian companies here of course in india if you get opportunities take it whatever comes first but I always prefer uh, mnc's because the work culture better work culture and uh, better abroad chances that's what and uh, yeah, wish you good luck and be aware what's going on around the world and uh, that will definitely impact the i don't impact india or indian education system but uh, uh, nothing will collapse just like that but uh, the people are going to lose jobs oh, that's what are not going to get jobs it is jobs that's not that's what going to happen and uh, those who are uh, not in the uh, um, required skill set also may lose jobs either here or there uh, currently most of them are going for uh, automation um so that is where uh, jobs are going to be uh, uh, ended up like i mean that's also the here the income see yes it's uh, more of compared to locals and cheap labor so whoever come for less price they hire clients that is a separate topic but when it comes to uh, indian uh, uh, jobs uh, scope the scope is less now and uh, is going to be very dim in the near future unless you are uh, well equipped with uh, microsoft azure aws uh, hadoop uh, big data and then latest technologies whatever that is there in demand in the market one more point um, nrs i i don't mean not necessarily only in indians living in us but various nations uh, as you know we already uh, flee to 52 nations on this planet or globe whatever um because of the education system is so corrupted and um, worst in india uh, that is the reason i also studied in india government schools and private schools so i'm not uh, criticizing or talking until i'm speaking truth uh, because of the engineering education standard is very low especially in southern states telangana uh, and andhra even the honorable chief ministers only uh, visited and advised uh, education standard is poor Uh, because of that uh, many are afraid to return also because education means 14 to 16 hours a day study 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 no sports no games no extra curricular activities even then you will don't get seats in iits and i recently last week i inquired in one district in andhra pradesh they started iit coaching from fourth grade and end by ninth grade itself but our days we started in intermediate 11th grade and 12th grade Uh, where there are very 5000 very less seats of iits but all the students in across india uh, especially from the south forcing them to study iit how many seats are there maybe 5000 seats but millions of students are uh, these corporate schools corporate mafia are forcing them to pay more for money and then giving the teaching it's waste right very few seats are there that's one and uh, after studying iit also people coming to us then what is the use um, and uh, as we well, don't get hurt our btech paper is like a tissue paper in us if you are not from iits us cic recognizes btech from iits but not other that's why they award the point system that's all, that all, that was also one uh, student from uh, guntur of andhra pradesh did r and d and then send it to me Uh, that is a government issue uh, unless we our education standard is high uh, we cannot uh, make a video on that uh, it's waste of subject that's what i want to say it has no value uh, i like i quoted an example right um, become student did acc and you and now is studying masters in canada probably may settle there once get p or he may come on pn visa to us in the next coming 4 to 5 years but uh, that is what um, Uh, and my when it comes to my hatter they wrote kumar did not study btech that says is commenting that is his stupidity that is the level of uh, education that they acquire after studying ms here after studying btech there my sole intention is to convey that you have to focus well on studies aware what's going on in the market focus on it so that at least you will not you know pitfall uh, to the wrong people or traps by wrong indians and second uh, you won't 
uh, afraid of those uh, news like why why India's engineering graduate should worry. So those things you are um, prepared and ahead of it. Uh, all I'm saying is uh, focus on studies, get good marks, and have a uh, skills automation and then development skills a bit. Whatever the industry is needed, that skills you should possess, man. Then definitely they will knock at your door. One, focus on uh, top 100 or top 500. So my subscribers advise top 500, but I advise top 100 universities a year for MS. Otherwise it's waste. And after MS also, you have to know what's going on here and uh, hit directly US client full-time jobs. Otherwise, life is waste here. It's worse than dog life here. Um, on Facebook it looks green uh, pictures but reality is very tough uh, so all your four years if you focus on studies on web markets uh, research then it will face you a lot and all my videos it's not for si guys sitting on the first bench they are already aware what's going on and uh, they have roadmap clear plans so from other benches and last bench students uh, it will be very useful Thank you. Good luck. God bless you. I wish you good luck from bottom of my heart. Please email me any questions h1bytusa.com. Thank you.